Hello everybody, it's time to install one of the first ceiling fans here at the new house. I picked this up, well I actually picked two of these up, at Lowe's on clearance for $24. I picked them up because, uh, well, my roommates like the look of them, and uh, that's really cheap. So, here they are. Interestingly enough, there's no brand name on the box. However, the one that they had on display, I believe it said Harbor Breeze or something, I think that's a Lowe's brand. Not entirely sure. But here it is. This is a bronze model. I believe there's like a a uh, silver looking one and then a uh, black one as well. Uh, they, this must not have been very popular, the bronze one, so they put them on clearance. I do like the three bladed design. Looks kind of industrial. It does have a standard uh, socket in it, which you can see here, and I also saw on the display one. So that's nice. You can put any kind of bulb in it. It's not restricted to a certain kind. But yeah, there's no, <laughs> there's no brand here. So if you look at the bottom, it's the information here on the bottom. Let me, you can take a look at the top. Pretty basic stuff. The information about the store. Nothing really on that side. So, there is the fan. There are the tools. And uh, let's go and replace this light. Taking the globe off, we can see the previous owner really liked these giant LED bulbs. This one is daylight in color. Very bright, I don't know, it's probably a 75 or 100 watt equivalent. But uh, these fixtures are throughout the house. Pretty basic, but seem to be decent quality. Also, remember to turn off power before doing any of this electrical stuff, so you do not have any issues. With the ceiling light removed, let's go ahead and unbox this fan. Opening the top, we're greeted with a piece of cardboard to protect you from cutting through everything. Look at this, you get a light bulb with it. Very nice, that's probably about a 40 watt equivalent. I went and bought some uh, brighter 60 watt equivalent bulbs. Let's see here. Interesting, definitely not filament LED, it doesn't look like it. We get a manual to put it together. We can see our three blades here. Now there's two different colors. You get the uh, the dark wood or this uh, more rustic looking, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. So that over there. Looks like we have our hardware and pull chains. So let's take out the foam. And the fan is already on the down rod. <clears throat> now, I'm going to try installing it directly on the canopy because uh, uh, for ceiling height reasons. But here we have our globe. It is glass. That's nice. It is quite thin, so you can only use like an A19 shaped bulb in there. It's not really uh, big enough for a standard A19. What did I say? A15 should fit. A19 is probably too much. So, here is our motor. And, uh, they already have the blade arms installed. Oh, look at that. There's like a gap there. So, let me get the plastic off and we'll take a closer look. So, as usual, you get 500 miles of wire in case you want to install this on a much longer down rod. But uh, we're not going to be doing that. Let's see. I don't see any branding on the canopy housing. Now, the one that they had on display did have branding on it. This one doesn't. But that's okay. Date code 2019. So it's been there a while. There you can read about it. Mm-hmm.
They all have the same sticker on them. So, of course this has the down rod, but as you can see, there are little holes down there at the bottom, and that is so you can attach it directly to this uh, flange, I guess, right here. Uh, so we're gonna do that because it'll bring it closer to the ceiling and save us some headroom. Inside you can kind of see the coils. Pretty basic stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Just gotta remove these screws on the side it looks like and we'll take out the ball and the rod and attach it directly to the motor housing. Okay, so I have removed the down rod and it's mounting pivot ball here. This little cover that went around the top housing and removed the three screws that were around the, the little part there and reinstalled them with the canopy. So now it's more of a hugger style than a down rod uh, fitted ceiling fan. And it's also very hugger style because it has these little grooves here to help hold it uh, while you're screwing it in, that's very nice. You can leave the one screw in there and it'll help you mount it. So there is the fan, looks pretty nice. The finish isn't too bad. It's more of a black than a bronze. I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this bracket on the ceiling and uh, we'll go from there. Now, one thing that I'll probably do is trim these wires cause they're so long. Uh, because we don't need all this length here. So, like I said, we'll get this mounted. Got the bracket on the ceiling, nice and secure. So now we will move on to assembling the fan. Okay, so we have our nuts and bolts here. And all we have to do is put them onto the blades. So you can choose whatever side. You can choose this wood side or the dark side. I'm gonna go with the dark side because it kind of matches uh, the same color as the curtain rods and some other things. There's nothing that really matches this. It doesn't match the flooring. Of course, this is darker. So we're going to go with this darker side. It matches the fan better and everything. So we're going to put that together. All you have to do is take one of these rivet looking nuts here. And it should slide right into the hole. Yep. And then, of course, you put it onto the bracket, and put your screw through the other side. Don't tighten down the screws all the way until you have all of them in. It'll help you line up the remaining holes, and then once you have them all in, you can come back and tighten them up. So while cleaning up this uh, pink bag here, I noticed these washers, and they're supposed to go on between the screw here, so I'm gonna go back around and put those on. So remember, these are hidden inside of the same colored bag. Got the blades assembled with the appropriate washers installed. So let's go ahead and uh, put it up on the ceiling. This is gonna be a little fun because you kinda have to hold the thing and do all this. You don't have the ball to hold it up there for you because of the ceiling mount design. So we'll see how this goes. As mentioned before, I wasn't a big fan of the included bulb because it's just a standard LED. So the LEDs face this way. So I went to the Home Depot and picked up their brand of filament LED bulbs here. I already have some of these 60 watt A19s and, or A15s, excuse me, and I really have been impressed with them. I really like them. They're really bright in a very compact package. They're just great. I really like these. Uh, so I picked up some more. They used to be in like a, uh, a blister pack, I believe is the name for them, but now they come in this box. So. And it's only 120 lumens more, but I think the filament LED will do a better job of distributing the light more evenly than the regular LED. So let's see, uh, we'll take this one out and look at it, and we'll take one of these out as well. Okay, so here's the two different bulbs, and well, they're the same size, they're both A15, absolutely. But of course the filament LED looks much more traditional than the regular LED bulb here. So I'm still going to hang on to this. I've seen this brand before at Lowe's uh, for their light colored bulbs, so it's obviously a Lowe's thing. But I do like these filament LED bulbs from uh, the Home Depot. They're really good. I haven't had any issues with them. Looks like they moved the etch now down to the base. The first ones I got had it on the top. So, interesting. Well, let's take a look at the fan. 
So we got the fan up and installed. The only thing I don't like is the box and the ceiling isn't secured as well as I'd like. It's definitely not going to fall down, but it's not uh, totally sturdy either. It's decent. Uh, it'll do the job. Uh, no big issue there. The fan isn't super heavy either. So I'm not too concerned about it. It just has a, uh, well, doing this puts more play on the blades than actual movement. So it, it's tightened up. It's pretty good. But you do want the box and the ceiling to be very sturdy for a ceiling fan. So we have our traditional socket here. Awesome. I really like that. Let's put our filament LED bulb in there. Now these come in three different, uh, three different color temperatures. You get warm white, which is this one. You get daylight, and then I think they have crisp white or something. But I went with warm white. I think that'll look nicer. And it does have the, the foil for like if it was a traditional bulb, uh, but obviously they're using LED wattages here with such a low wattage. I didn't even look at what wattage these are. Uh, so we'll put the globe on and uh, go from there. Got the globe on and I have to say that looks pretty good. I like that design, super simple. I like super simple, that's really nice. Let's turn it on. Okay, so it's off. I'm not sure what one does the light in the fan, so let's just try it out. Okay, so that's definitely the fan. I'm sure it starts off on high. It pushes a nice breeze. Medium, low, so this has to be the light. Oh yeah, that filament LED bulb definitely lights up the globe nice and evenly. Now the LED that it came with, at least in the display, I mean half of the, sh the shade was only lit up because you know it only points one direction, so I highly recommend putting a filament LED bulb in there. That looks, that looks much nicer. So there it is. That looks really nice. I'm real happy with that, especially on clearance for $24. Much better than the uh, those little huggers that they have that are about the same price. Very cool. Okay, well now that I know what side does what, let's turn it off. I'll turn that off too. And I'm sure it'll do a nice spin down because it's brand new. This is the first time it's been turned on. I really do like these three bladed fans. They look very industrial to me. I like that industrial look and feel. And as, as I was talking about, you can see how it kind of matches the curtain rod a little bit. It doesn't match the flooring. I showed that earlier, but I think it matches some of the other stuff in here. Like my, my friend's desk here is the same color. So at least matches that kind of stuff. And it's low profile. Definitely not gonna hit your head on that. Very cool, okay, well, we'll get the pull chains on and take one last look. Got the pull chains on now. Nope. Very nice, well, I hope you enjoyed this video of this No Name View fan. It's probably whatever the Lowe's store brand is, uh, judging by the bulb inside and the one they had on display. Not bad. Pretty happy with it. Puts out a nice breeze. Maybe you can hear it or feel it. Well, you can't feel it, but you can probably hear it in the microphone. I like it. Well, thanks so much for watching. Also, please come right, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much again for watching.